And we're prepared to roll the dice. We're prepared to. Do you want to say to the voters if they are prepared to choose someone with less experience, but perhaps other qualities, and as you've said, gifted in politics, gifted, gifted in intellect, then they're rolling the dice. Is what you're saying? Well, they, they are it, rolling the dice well, about America it's if less they don't choose the person who's had the kind of experience you're talking. No, it's less predictable. Yeah. Bill Clinton said the country would be, quote, rolling the dice with Obama as president. Here's Hillary this morning on the Today Show. Senator, you're not really addressing this question, though. Your husband said it'd be rolling the dice with America's future if he were elected. What is the risk to America if Barack Obama is the president? You know, he not only said that, but the Des Moines Register editorial implied that. And a lot of people are making up their minds among real candidates, not abstractions, not hypotheticals. And and I welcome that scrutiny. I welcome that kind of, uh, you know, examination of our records, our experience, our qualifications, our vision for the country. That's what elections are about. Home. Just take those old records home. Yeah. You okay. know, this is uh, but you're, the way you're, elections you're, you're, are as you move toward decision making. All right, so you're, you're choosing not to, not to answer that question. Let me ask you another, another issue that well, has... No, no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. I'm I am making the case for my candidacy. Right, but it, but I am your very husband, happy that Senator I have, I have very strong clear supporters statement. and I have editorial support. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think that uh, voters will have to judge us, and that's what I welcome. I invite people to do that. There's a time for playing it safe and a time for risky business. You know, the job which we should have done, which should have been our primary focus to find, you know, Bin Laden. Mr. Bin Laden used to live in Sudan. He was expelled from Saudi Arabia in 91, then he went to Sudan. And we did it. They released him at the time, 96. He had committed no crime against America, so I did not bring him here because we had no basis on which to hold him. Though so we knew he wanted to commit crime against America. Why did not bring him here? Secretary of State Madeleine Albright said, well, if we bomb uh, Afghanistan now, it's not a good time to bomb Muslims. It'll, it'll essentially blow up uh, the Middle East peace process and, and doom any chances President Clinton has of, of, of winning the Nobel Prize for Peace. I was delighted when Jimmy Carter won the Nobel Peace Prize because I thought he earned it, and I thought it was great because he got it as much for what he did after office as when he was in office. Bill Clinton is still campaigning for the Nobel Peace Prize. I remember exactly what happened. These things he said to me on the phone, we got a second plane that hit the tower. And I said, Bin Laden did this. That's the first thing I said. He said, how can you be sure? I said, because only Bin Laden and the Iranians could set up a network to do this. And they wouldn't do it because they have a country and targets. Bin Laden did Did you also think at the same time we came pretty close to getting them? Yeah. I thought that my virtual obsession was more face than I was full of regret that I ever did. I mean, I immediately thought that he did it. <laughs> I always ask the same question for eight years. Can we kill him tomorrow? Bin Laden is alive today because uh, Mr. Clinton, Mr. Sandy Berger, and Mr. Richard Clark refused to kill him. That's the bottom line.